Good morning, America. We're going to do a second taping today. It is going to come from Proverbs 24. We're almost done with the Proverbs. Yeah, we only have 31 of them. Once we're done, we'll start the uh, Psalms all over again, and we'll just keep going backwards and forward. All right, uh, Psalms, Proverbs 24. <clears throat> It's another wise saying. I'm going to use this book as well. It gives us a little bit more information about what Proverbs 24 is about. I believe it says wise saying. One thing about the Proverbs, it really doesn't tell you who the writers are. You can only get that from Psalms, the book of Psalms. Proverbs, again, wise, words of the wise. I will be reading it from this book, however. Uh, I need to let you know that it's predominantly pink for witnessing. We have some verses of black here, one verse of purple for the Trinity, which is 12, uh, one verse of green for love, which is verse 11, and one verse of salvation, which is verse 25. The remaining is black and uh, for sin and pink for witnessing. Verse 1 and 2 is black. It says, do not envy, do not be envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them. 2. For their heart devises violence and their lips talk of troublemaking. That's all the reason you need to know. Why? Because they are up to mischief and no good. <clears throat> Therefore, you should not desire any of their <clears throat> counseling. Uh, take advice from them. You do not copy their actions. Okay? Don't be around them. Three to seven is painful witnessing. Three said, though wisdom... Through wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. For by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. 5. A wise man is strong. Yes, a man of knowledge increases strength. Yes. Uh, a man of knowledge is one that will listen when he is being counseled. And this here listening will strengthen him. Okay, yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. Six, for by wise counsel you will wage your own war, and in a multitude of counselors there is safety. And these counselors are generally your elders. Seven, wisdom is too loafy for a fool. All right, he does not open his mouth in the gates. Too heavy for a fool. Okay, eight. And nine is black for sin. He who plots to do evil will be called a schemer. He who plots to, the, to do evil will be called a schemer. Nine, the devising of foolishness is sin, and the scoffer is an abomination to men. Okay? Ten, pink also. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. If you faint when trouble is, is near, your strength is small. Alright. 11. It's that green verse. Deliver those who are drawn towards death and hold back those stumbling to the slaughter. Deliver those who are drawn towards death. That means save them. Alright. And hold back those stumbling to the slaughter. Alright. 12. It's that purple verse. If you say, surely we did not know this, does not he who weighs the heart consider it? He who keeps your soul, does he not know it? And will he not render to each man according to his deed? Absolutely. Absolutely. He who sees all things, sees everything you do. In the dark, in the light. If it is good, Blessings will come your way. If it is bad, curses is your reward. If you say, surely we did not know this, 
does not he who weighs the heart, that is God himself, consider it what you have done? He who keeps your soul, does he not know? He who sees all, does he not know? And will he not render to each man according to his deed? Absolutely. 13. And 14 is painful witness. And my son, eat honey because it is good. And the honeycomb which is sweet to your taste. So it is very good to consume honey. All right. My son, eat honey because it is good. And the honeycomb which is sweet to your taste. So you can eat the honeycomb as well. I didn't know that. Uh, 14. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be to your soul. If you have found it, there is a prospect and your hope will not be cut off. If you have knowledge and wisdom, your prosperity will come. That's what it says. So, sh so shall the knowledge of wisdom be to your soul. Huh? If you have found it, knowledge and wisdom, there is a prosper. All right? And your hope, whatever that may be, will not be cut off. It will be achieved. 15 and 16 black again. Do not lie in wait, O oh, wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Uh, don't lie in wait for, for, the, for the people of God. You will be wasting your time. Huh? Do not lie in wait, O oh, wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Do not plunder his resting place. 16, for a righteous man may fail seven times, may fall seven times, and rise again. We will always rise again for the world to see. Okay? For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. You will rise no more. 17, and 18, again, pink for witnessing. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls. And do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles. You are never to do this, America. You are never to be happy when your enemy has fallen. Never. Or when he has stumbled. Never. It is no time to rejoice. Consider that. Least does Lord see it and it displease him. He can see that smart look on your face. He can see what's in your heart. All right. Least the Lord see it and it displease him and he turn away his wrath from him and give it unto thee. 19. And 20, black again. Do not frit because of evildoers, nor be envious of the wicked. Don't, 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 don't worry about what the evil are doing. It will not come nigh you. Don't worry about it. That's what trust is. Trust is knowing that God is watching your every second. Every step you make, he is there. So with this. You don't have to worry about what the evil are doing around you because you have total trust in your God. All right? Do not fret because of evil doers, nor be envious of the wicked. 20. For there be no prospect for the evil man. The lamp of the wicked will be put out, and for sure. It may take some time, but it's coming. 21. My son, fear the Lord and the King. Do not associate it with those given to change. Fear the Lord and the King. Don't associate, okay, with those given to change. And 22, for their calamity will rise suddenly. Mm. And who knows the ruin those two can bring. Okay, so their calamity will come on suddenly. Without warning. That's how it happens, America. Suddenly. All right? Further saying of the wise, verse 20. 
4. 23. These things also belong to the wise. Pay attention. 24. Which is black. It is not good to show partiality in judgment. He who says to the wicked, you are righteous, him the people will curse. You are never to make a mistake between the wicked and the righteous. Never. Okay? It is not good to show partiality in judgment. He who says to the wicked, you are righteous, him the people will curse. Nations will abhor him. Nations will hate you for looking upon the wicked as righteous. Okay? 25. But those who rebuff the wicked will have delight and a good blessing will come upon them. That's right. That's right. Okay, when you correct the wicked, you get a blessing. I will repeat it again. But those who rebuff, that means correct, the wicked will have what did light. Huh? And a good blessing will come upon them. All right? 26 is um, pink for witnessing, and so is 27. He who gives a right answer kisses the lips. Amen. He who gives a right answer kisses the lips. 27. Prepare your outside work. Make it fit for yourself in the field. And afterwards, build your house. Okay. That means you can't start a house without first doing the foundation. <laughs> okay. Prepare your outside work. Make it fit for yourself in the field. And afterwards, build your house. 28. It's black for sin, and so is 29. Do not be a witness against your neighbor without cause. Don't be a false witness for anyone, okay, without a cause. Do not be a witness against your neighbor without cause. That's a curse. 29. Do not say, I will do to him just as he has done to me. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can say, I will let the Lord handle you for me. You can say that. I will let the Lord deal with you accordingly. You can say that. Okay? But you can't say, I will take care of you soon enough. You can't say that. Alright? I will render to the man according to his work. You can't say that. Alright? 30 on to 34 is painful witnessing. I went by the field of the lazy man and by the vineyard of the man devout of understanding. That means having no understanding. Okay, 31. And there it was, all overgrown with thrones. Its surfaces was covered with nettles. Its stone's wall was broken down. 32. When I saw it, I considered it well. I looked on it and received instructions. 33. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. 34. So shall your poverty come like a prowler and your need like an armed man. So it doesn't pay to be lazy. You will starve. It pays to work hard. You will gain much. Thank you very much for listening to us here at Spiritual Water. I hope the, the words of God have been helpful to you. I certainly hope you applied them into your house, or your home, your family. And above all, I pray that you may gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. If you have those three things, America... There is nothing you can accomplish. Okay? In the meantime, may the peace of God be upon thee. May the protection of God surround you. And may the will of God for your life come from thee. Thank you for listening. My name is Brenda Guerrero. Enjoy your day.